So the first demonstration that I want to show you is a few simple experiments on electrostatics. What you really learn from this is how incredible it must have been to do the original experiments. The system is unreliable. It's difficult to reproduce experiments from one day to the next. And in fact, one of the things that anyone who teaches electrostatics knows that is that if you rehearse an experiment before you go into class, it'll work perfectly. When you go into class, it won't. And the reason for this is you're always sweating a little bit. And sweat is a fantastically good conductor, and it sure ruins electrostatic experiments. So what we want to do here is to look at th these, this experiment here. We've set it up. These are polystyrene balls. They're covered in a conducting paint. There's a large one there and a couple of small ones up there. In the old days, these balls would have been made of pith. Polystyrene is lighter and somewhat more reproducible. Now, to produce an electrostatic charge, we use the most primitive method possibly. We wipe electrons off this rod. And you'll see that when we bring this up, we get a very weak attraction. If we bring it up to the smaller balls, you see a somewhat more dramatic effect. And you notice what we've got there is something very like electrostatic cling. You notice an effect there. The first stage was that this rod actually attracted the ball. Let's do it again with the other one. And then after a moment or two, it would repel it. What's going on there is we, well, let's say, have a negative charge on here. We'd start off with no charge on here. But because of the negative charge on here, positive charge will be created on this side of the ball and a negative charge on that side. That's enough to cause the initial attraction. It pulls the ball over. Then, because this is covered in a conducting paint, some of the negative charge from this is transferred to the ball. And in that case, we have a negatively charged rod, we have a negatively charged ball, and so the two will repel each other. This device is known as an electroscope. It consists of two very thin pieces of foil. When these pieces of foil are charged, they will repel each other. We'll start off by making it neutral. You know, just touch it, and that removes the charge from it. And then we do the same trick. This time we'll do it with a glass rod and a piece of fur. And now when I bring up the glass rod, you'll notice that the leaves of the electroscope diverge when I take it away they go back to their original position. Bring it up, they diverge. I can actually transfer a charge to this. And then when I take it away, you'll notice that the charge remains on there, and so the leaves continue to repel each other. And I can get rid of that by just touching it again, which discharges it.